Fire crews say one week after it began, the brunt of the fire is out. Their focus now is on recovery. Some residents are still cleaning up explosion debris. And we've told you Chemtool arranged for the company Clean Harbors to help with picking up the pieces. Rachel Perry talked with some Rockton homeowners. Rachel, what progress have they seen? Mimi and Eric, some homeowners are happy with the cleanup, but others are still waiting for a call back. A common thing among Rockton residents is the concerns of what the debris contains and when it will be gone. Uh, you know, just stand in front of Rockton and tell us what's in our air, what's in our water, um, what's in our ground. Pam Euchre and her husband returned to their Rockton home on Monday morning. Clean Harbors came Sunday to pick up debris after she called Thursday. They walked the back, they walked the front, and they picked it all up. I was happy with, with the results. While Euchre says they did a great job in the yard, the couple is still picking up from the fire and taking extra precautions. And bought kind of like white painters, hazmat suits, and uh, Mark got on the roof and washed down all the roof. Um, then we washed down the outside of the house and all the windows. But not all homeowners have heard back from Clean Harbors. I would go out there and clean it up myself. I just want to know that it's okay for me to be out there. Kimberly Mueller says she called Saturday when she noticed her dog not feeling well. And she had tar all over her feet, and I did too. I didn't realize it was in my yard. And it's a similar situation for Cassidy Sodergren. I just knew that there was other types of debris other than the big chunks that people are finding everywhere. It's a whole building that exploded. There was lots of metal within the one mile mark. She tells me Clean Harbors told her they aren't looking for metal in yards. They told me that they were told by who they were hired by um, to only pick up insulation. Was their specific word was insulation. I reached out to ChemTool to get answers about Clean Harbors and the complaints from residents. I was told they would provide a statement but have not heard back. Mimi? All right, thanks for that.